Hello and welcome to the portrait of the reader as a young man. Today we are discussing Goethe's Wilhelm Meister's Apprenticeship. This novel was written in the later part of Goethe's life and um, is a very ample Bildungsroman charting um, the pursuits and the self-discovery of the main character, Wilhelm Meister. Before I am going um, to tell you about what exactly happens in this book, I will talk about another work of Goethe's, The Sorrows of Young Werther. Uh, this short novel, writ published when Goethe was 27 years old, is um, symbolic and uh, very important for uh, the Romantic movement, which appeared in Germany in the second half of the 18th century. And The Sorrows of Young Werther, uh, the author, um, constructs the story of a young man in love with a woman who doesn't love him back, a fact which causes him to suffer a lot, and this suffering leads to suicide. Um, the Sorrows of Young Werther is a novel of intense feelings of overwhelming pain and sufferance which lead to suicide. I would say that in comparison with that novel, this novel, which also explores this theme of youth, is more um, has a much wider perspective and uh, is imbued with a much greater sense of calm. So, um, if the first novel is someone written from the perspective of a young man who is um, actively involved in in the experience of being young, this uh, novel shows us um, the experience of youth from the point of view of a mature man. And um, this mature man um, sort of constructs this really ample image of the process of growing up and maturing, which starts in, uh, in the teenage years and ends up in maturity. Um, uh, the novel is a very large one. In my edition, it has uh, over 800 pages written in a uh, very tiny lettering. Um, it, uh, it follows... Um, so the action takes place over a very long time. Um, and a lot of things happen. And the character passes through many stages in his process of becoming a mature man. Uh, the book um, uh, portrays the romantic ideal of the second half of the 18th century, and the romantics of that time rebelled against the bourgeois ideal of stability and economic prosperity, and uh, focused more on the, on the pursuit of intense emotion than the art. That's what Wilhelm Meister does. He abandons the path charted for him by his family, who were rich German merchants, and he joins a theater group with which he travels for a very long time. So the main character gives up comfort, stability, and uh, wealth in favor of intense emotions, art, and experiences. Uh, this is uh, the bohemian ideal, which was quite new for the time, I would say. And um, um, it's quite relevant for this bohemian ideal, this opposition between the bohemian ideal and uh, the bourgeois ideal, I think is um, extremely relevant for young people. The character is obviously in the process of discovering one's identity. It's something that happens with uh, most teenagers nowadays after... Uh, after living as children under this umbrella of their parents' opinions and visions, they try to separate from their parents and build a new identity for themselves. And they built this, nowadays they built this identity for themselves by getting much closer to their peers and embracing youth cultures and experimenting with different looks and with the different types of music and by going to parties and... Um, embracing new worldviews. 
uh, in a way that's what um, Wilhelm Meister did. However, I would say that in his case it's uh, it's much more profound because he didn't only give up. Um, he didn't. He went beyond what most uh, people do nowadays. He went beyond shallow uh, aspects and really challenged an entire system. What um, uh, after this period of traveling with the fiat theater, which lasts for years and years, he then um, uh, settles at the castle and. Um, then he goes through a series of interesting experience. experiences. That's when he becomes a mature character. And uh, as a mature person, he discovers a new meaning for his life. He joins the Masonical Society and goes on a journey to promote um, the ideas of Illuminism, democracy, freedom, and uh, the pursuit of knowledge. Um, so, as you can see, this novel is very relevant for the historical, social, and intellectual context of the time, but also has this sense of universality in that it portrays experiences that are almost common to all people. However, as I've said, the character goes further and deeper than most people do in their youthful pursuit for one's identity and I think that that is something we should all take from this novel. We should all become aware of the fact that the process of searching for one's identity as a as a teenager and then as a young man or young woman shouldn't go only into shallow things. Uh, building an identity for oneself doesn't only mean uh, changing your clothes or listening to weird music or reading two or three um, subculture books. Um, I think that um, what the character teaches us is that um, we should uh, try to be more profound and to explore new areas of existence uh, much more deeply and uh, much more seriously. There are several books uh, in the... Uh, there are several themes in the book which are um, extremely relevant. I would say that one is youth versus maturity and what fascinated me is that in opposition to the modern tendency of most people of uh, settling back into the bourgeois ideal after uh, a few years of uh, rebellion, uh, the main character of the book does not return to the bourgeois ideal upon maturity he goes even further further after taking this long process of self-discovery he embarks on a superior journey of sharing his knowledge and experience with other people so the process the the search never ends the journey never ends um the bohemian pursuits of a young man or young woman shouldn't be only a temporary fire of youth that goes out and uh, leaves a bit of ash which is uh, wiped away in the cupboard of uh, lost experience to be replaced by uh, by strictly material pursuits uh, the, the this this thirst that young people have for discovery and for constructing what constructing what oneself should be maintained throughout one's existence it should be continually kindled and it should be challenged in more mature forms of expression as one leaves uh, the threshold uh, of youth and goes into maturity. And I, th <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the portrait of the reader as a young man. Today we are discussing Goethe's Wilhelm Meister's Apprenticeship. This novel was written in the later part of Goethe's life and um, is a very ample Bill Lux Roman charting um, the pursuits and the self-discovery of the main character, Wilhelm Meister. Before I am going um, 
to tell you about what exactly happened since this book, I will talk about another work of Goethe's, The Sorrows of Young Werther. Uh, this short novel, writ published when Goethe was 27 years old, is um, symbolic and uh, very important for uh, the Romantic movement, which appeared in Germany in the second half of the 18th century. And The Sorrows of Young Werther, uh, the author... Um, constructs the story of a young man in love with a woman who doesn't love him back, a fact which causes him to suffer a lot, and this suffering leads to suicide. Um, the Sorrows of Young Werther is a novel of intense feelings of overwhelming pain and sufferance which lead to suicide. I would say that in comparison with that novel, this novel, which also explores this theme of youth, is more um, has a much wider perspective and uh, is imbued with a much greater sense of calm. So, um, if the first novel is someone written from the perspective of a young man who is um, actively involved in in the experience of being young, this um, novel shows us um, the experience of youth from the point of view of a mature man. And um, this mature man um, sort of constructs this really ample image of the process of growing up and maturing, which starts in, uh, in the teenage years and ends up in maturity. Um, uh, the novel is a very large one. In my edition, it has uh, over 800 pages written in a very tiny lettering. Um, it, uh, it follows... Um, so the action takes place over a very long time. Um, and a lot of things happen. And the character passes through many stages in his process of becoming a mature man. Uh, the book um, uh, portrays the romantic ideal of the second half of the 18th century, and the romantics of that time rebelled against the bourgeois ideal of stability and economic prosperity, and uh, focused more on the, on the pursuit of intense emotion than the art. That's what Wilhelm Meister does. He abandons the path charted for him by his family, who were rich German merchants, and he joins a theater group with which he travels for a very long time. So the main character gives up comfort, stability, and uh, wealth in favor of intense emotions, art, and experiences. Uh, this is uh, the bohemian ideal which was quite new for the time, I would say. And um, um, it's quite relevant for this bohemian ideal, this opposition between the bohemian ideal and uh, the bourgeois ideal, I think is um, extremely relevant for young people. The character is obviously in the process of discovering one's identity, it's something that happens with uh, most teenagers nowadays after uh, after living as children under this umbrella of their parents opinions and visions they try to separate from their parents and build a new identity for themselves and they built this uh, nowadays they built this identity for themselves by getting much closer to their peers and embracing the youth cultures and experimenting with different looks and with the different types of music and by going to parties and um, embracing new worldviews. Uh, in a way, that's what um, Wilhelm Meister did. However, I would say that in his case, it's, uh, it's much more profound because he didn't only give up... Um, he didn't. He went beyond what most uh, people do nowadays. He went beyond shallow uh, aspects and really 
challenged an entire system. What um, uh, after this period of traveling with a the fiat theater which lasts for years and years, he then um, uh, settles at the castle and um, then he goes through a series of interesting experience experiences. That's when he becomes a mature character and. Uh, as a mature person, he discovers a new meaning for his life. He joins the Masonical Society and goes on a journey to promote um, the ideas of Illuminism, democracy, freedom, and uh, the pursuit of knowledge. Um, so, as you can see, this novel is very relevant for the historical, social, and intellectual context of the time, but also has this sense of universality in that it portrays experiences that are almost common to all people. However, as I've said, the character goes further and deeper than most people do in their youthful pursuit for one's identity and I think that that is something we should all take from this novel. We should all become aware of the fact that the process of searching for one's identity as a as a teenager and then as a young man or young woman shouldn't go only into shallow things. Uh, building an identity for oneself doesn't only mean uh, changing your clothes or listening to weird music or reading two or three um, subculture books. Um, I think that um, what the character teaches us is that um, we should uh, try to be more profound and to explore new areas of existence uh, much more deeply and uh, much more seriously. There are several books uh, in the... Uh, there are several themes in the book which are um, extremely relevant I would say that one is youth versus maturity and what fascinated me is that in opposition to the modern tendency of most people of uh, settling back into the bourgeois ideal after uh, a few years of uh, rebellion, uh, the main character of the book does not return to the bourgeois ideal upon maturity he goes even further further after taking this long process of self-discovery he embarks on a superior journey of sharing his knowledge and experience with other people so the process the the search never ends the journey never ends um the bohemian pursuits of a young man or young woman shouldn't be only a temporary fire of youth that goes out and uh, leaves a bit of ash which is uh, wiped away in the cupboard of uh, lost experience to be replaced by uh, by strictly material pursuits uh, the, the this this thirst that young people have for discovery and for constructing what constructing what oneself should be maintained throughout one's existence it should be continually kindled and it should be challenged in more mature forms of expression as one leaves uh, the threshold uh, of youth and goes into maturity. And I think this is the perfect example of this process. Uh, another theme is Mama. Another theme is love. And there are two images of love which are proposed, the one in the character's early youth and the one in um, his maturity which is much more profound and um, ideally I think that is what most people should go through. They should go through this transition from the overwhelming infatuation of love to a more mature verse, uh, version of eroticism which is of course rooted in attraction but also gives uh, goes into deeper areas of existence such as uh, loyalty, calm and stability. And in the book we see we have two relationships, um, that of uh, youth which is uh, overwhelming and um, overpowering but also also maybe a bit um, 
a bit destabilizing and we have the level of maturity which is uh, much more uh, calm, stable and balanced. Another theme is knowledge and um, I would say that Wilhelm Meister is uh, an ideal for the pursuit of knowledge in the sense that he embodies the duality between uh, the search for relevant emotional and uh, relational experiences and uh, the intellectual form of uh, of um, of this process of searching and finding out so he does not uh, that is uh, he is a uh, uh, universally human in the sense that he develops both intellectually and emotionally um, as the narration advances and ideally this should be the process through which every human being goes in reality there are many imbalances that occur along uh, this process of uh, self-construction and self-discovery but ideally there should be a duality between the intellect and the emotional and relational side of things. Another theme which um, the book explores is uh, the pursuit of freedom, liberty, democracy, and that is extremely relevant in the context of 18th century Illuminism and in the context of this... Uh, uh, in the context of the beginning of this uh, pursuit by European nations of democracy, um, this whole process of transition from uh, absolute monarchy to democracy started obviously with the French Revolution, which did not replace absolute monarchism with democracy, unfortunately, and went and encompassed the 19th century leading to the 20th century fall of many European monarchies after the First World War. Uh, and um, after this, of course, and after the Second World War, uh, the model of, uh, of, constitutional, uh, of, um, of the Republic and the democracy was imposed in, in Western Europe, but of course it all started with um, 18th century Illuminism and uh, this awakening in, um, in the heart of uh, European intellectuals who realized that uh, in fact maybe the people should have the power to be self-determined and to be led according to a very clear and fair system of laws instead of the absolutist uh, models of earlier centuries um, which um, of course was uh, was the governing system in Europe for such a long time and uh, last but not least I will speak about another theme which is um, which is art and um, the author, the main character basically goes on this journey of artistic self-discovery and obviously the artistic ideal was oppo is opposed to the bourgeois ideal but what is most important to retain is that through art and through this process of uh, creation uh, the individual can discover oneself and discover the world. Uh, the artistic pursuit through theatre also occasions interactions with other people and a lot of experiences so we have this integrated system of real life experience and, and of artistic experiences which produces um, this maturing effect in the soul of the individual but also which teaches him how to transmit his experience uh, to other people in the end of this video I'm going to talk about my experience in the book. The book is obviously really complex and long and um, definitely is not uh, the most dynamic read. This is not a thriller or a, a novel where there is this uh, very energetic flow of events. Uh, the novel is uh, written from the point of view of um, of um, of a mature man with a, who was settled and had a 
much calmer sensibility than in his youth and um, I think this shows in um, the energy which the words and the phrases and the text overall transmits so I would recommend this book mostly for uh, for you know for the summertime or for a vacation when you have a lot of time it's more difficult to read it if you if you have a, a very challenging job and you only get a, a little time uh, in the night in the evening when you're tired so this book requires a lot of free time a lot of patience and a lot of energy but overall it's a very rewarding read it's a really rewarding read i would say because as uh, highlighted previously it has this universally human character and i think that most people will be able to see themselves in the main character and to relate to the main character who really embodies this universal human uh, pursuit of transcendence if we could say so however as i've said he takes he takes um, this process of uh, self-construction a bit further than most people do in real life and that's what i want you to to stick with this uh, conscience that uh, we should um, we should we should strive for a richer spiritual and intellectual experience just like the main character instead of getting stuck in this um, routine uh, of the contemporary consumer center life thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for uh, our future post bye bye okay hi